this video we are going to learn about inbound marketing and here are all the details you need to know about let's go here are the table of contents that we speak or discuss in this video the first one is buyer journey second one is toolkits for inbound the third one is buyer personas fourth one is ideas distribution for each stages content creation ideas and content creation tools let's go first of all we should look the buyer journey through which they passes the first one is awareness stage in the awareness stage you have to attract the customer by doing social media marketing or various other marketing tricks the second one is consideration stage in the consideration stage you have to or business have to engage the prospect to their customer around their brand and the third one is decision stage in the decision stage what you have to do is improve the delight promoters because in the decision stage your referrals your business is growth the first one awareness stage what do you need to know is that in the awareness stage if you want to if you want to lead more traffic if you want to get more leads you have to focus on the awareness stage then how can you aware customer by giving content in the social media in which your potential your ideal customer are mostly active you randomly you should never put your content everywhere you have to research where is your ideal customer most active in which social media then accordingly you should do understood if you want to get more traffic if you want to get more leads you have to focus on the awareness stage you have to improve this stage okay then how can you engage customers in this stage what things to do the first one is by giving personalized email otherwise you can also put your various content blog post on your website on the recent trades or you can do research from the keyword research tools and see what is the keyword that your ideal customer is looking for then you can make the blog post around that topics third one is lead nurturing you have to nurture as you are nurturing just growing plants because they can give you the fruit later if you nurture them well at this stage another one is marketing automation you can automate the marketing there are various tools available in the market for this the last one is multi channel communication let me tell you that you should never you should never lead on only one channel you should focus on the multi channel communication so that if one channel is destroyed other is still there from where you can communicate with your prospect or your business partner the second one is consideration stage in the consideration stage a buyer identifies their problem and becomes committed to understanding the different solution in this stage buyers looks for the different competitors not only you because they want the solution so they are looking they are searching for the best solution that they need and in this stage how can you help that you help support and empower customer to reach their goals you have to identify what are their goals and you have to make your content accordingly and let me tell you that you have to focus on the creating a buzz around your brand you should not talk about your brand in the initial stage that is awareness stage in the awareness stage you have to solve the customer problem but in the consideration stage you have to focus on your brand because customer have lot of options lot of other brands which they can choose but your brand is only one so you have to create the buzz around your brand in the consideration stage this is the basic info and what you need to know that if you want to convert more leads if you want to convert more prospect and if you want to lower your customer acquisition cost then this is the best stage we can do consideration is the best stage if you want to convert more leads convert more prospect and lower your cac if you need these three you must focus on consideration stage 
you have to make improvement you have to make continuous improvement in consideration stage where you have to engage them the third one is decision stage a customer identifies their solution a customer already go through a lot of options lot of brand now finally they have to decide to which brand they should choose which product they should buy to whom company to which company they should go with they have to decide at this stage and this is called decision stage what do you need to do that if you want to increase your lifetime value if you want to improve your customer retention if you want referrals then you have to focus and you have to make a lot of improvement continuous improvement on decision stage are you understanding this this is very different you need to know that what does your company need what does your company need if your company need these three things you have to focus on the decision if not you have to look what do you need then you have to focus accordingly in the decision states what should you do is that the first one is you can conduct the customer loyalty program you can put your content by user generated you can focus on improving your reviews you can focus on getting a lot of reviews word of mouth and social mentions are the another thing that you can do in the decision stage if you want to improve and again multi channel communication is there for you to improve this stage now let's see the example of buyer's journey in the awareness stage what the customer journey will look like in the awareness stage the customer experiences constant back pain in the morning this is in the awareness stage which the customer is facing they are experiencing the constant back pain in the morning and they google why does my back hurt in the morning and after the many research this customer found that their mattress may be the problem this is the awareness stage then after that they become aware the, about their problem they will head towards to find the solution of this problem then they are solving then they are searching for their solution in their consideration stage they become aware that their mattress is the problem and wants to find a solution they takes a quiz to assess the right type of bed product for them and they launch that a foam mattress is recommended they consider to buy foam mattress now they are going to look for a company price brand and many other in the decision stage which provider to purchase from yeah from which provider they are going to purchase they need to decide they comes across several brands offering the foam mattresses and choose this company based on reviews price quality and a lot of other things that you already know this is a example of buyer's journey first they experience a problem then they search the solutions for their problem and finally they choose in the decision stage now what are the toolkits for marketing inbound what tools can help you for marketing inbound the first one is seo search engine optimization is one toolkit for you the second one is content marketing tools reporting tools advertising tools collaboration tools social media marketing tools and project management tools now what tools are available for seo what tools are available for reporting what are some project management tools what are collaboration tools if you want to know let's move ahead for the seo you have various tools available in the market but i have shortlisted some which is one of the popular and famous among customers the first one for seo is semrush moz arabs and google search console the tools some popular and famous among the customer for content marketing tools is wordpress buzzsumo hotjar and canva for social media marketing hootsuite buffer sprout social are there to help you advertising tools are adroll rollworks sixsense and adstream 
platform reporting tools are Google Analytics, HubSpot, Databox. And collaboration tool, you can use Slack. For project management tools, you can use Trello, Asana, and Airtable. Now, we are going to look at the buyer persona. And there are two types. Demographic insights and buying insights. What falls under demographic insights is their age, what is your ideal, what is your ideal customer's income, their family life, their hobbies, and gender expression. This all category form falls under demographic insights. Now buying insights. What falls under buying insights? What factors are there? You have to carefully look on their priorities. What success look like for your ideal clients? What are their barriers that they must overcome, that they want to overcome? How they evaluate options and their attributes they pay attention when making a decision. Now in your buyer personas, what should you know is what is your ideal customer's background? You should know about this. What are their goals and challenges? Their interests and needs? These are two different things that most of the people confuse. What incentivizes them and from where they get their information? For example, if they get their information through Twitter, if they are uh, searching for their solution in the Twitter, where should you be active? In the Twitter. If they are getting their information through blog post, where should you focus? You should focus on making blog post, improving, enhances your blog post. Understood? Yeah, let's go. There are some ways to get the customer stories. How can you collect customer stories? By conducting surveys, by making forms, by doing interviews from social media and especially from sales team. Now, whom to interview? You should never interview the random person. There are some people, there are some personality whom should you interview. The first one to interview is your customers. Second one is who considered your solution but choose a competitor one. Third one is who considered you but didn't go with any new solution. Why? You have to find out by interviewing them. Who never chose you and chose a competitor? Why they never, never chose you? What qualities they find on their competitor but not on you? You have to find this by doing interview. The next is what to tell your prospective interview because most of the sales people do is what they just directly go into the interview but before starting your interview to the customer you should tell that why are you calling the reason behind your call the reason the reason behind this interview and you have to tell that this isn't a survey why because clients hate being taken surveys how much time interview will take? You have to clarify this. And if you are offering any incentive, how to contact you? Because after the interview, you should contact them. You need to contact them. So it is better to ask at the initial phase before the interview. Okay, let's see. There are some content creation ideas which you can use. From where? in which aspect, in which topic, what to make, how to make the content. Most of the business owner, most of the SMEs are confused in this. Let's talk about. The first one is you can interview the influencers. Who are the influencers of your ideal client? You can take their interview. You can host contest and giveaways. This is the one form of content creation ideas. You can do repurpose of your blog content. You can put a video on a how to and a tutorials. You can go behind the scenes. You can provide your customer tools and templates. You can also give kits and workbooks. And this is very important that there may be some hard to understand ideas for your customer. You can animate them to clear to give them clarity. 
you can do infographics and original research you can show your product demo and unusual use cases on your various social media accounts you can win you can celebrate wins and discuss the trends you can provide curated content for the target audience only you can also compare and contrast the solutions to their problems what problems are they facing you can compare and contrast solution for this and if you don't find any other otherwise if you complete all these ideas you can share your industry relevant news again you can answer their question which they put in the comment section by taking those question you can make a whole video this can be the one content creation ideas another is visual storytelling you can also teach something related to your industry related to your product or your company you can share testimonials if there are any great ideal customer of your company you can take their interviews as well and user generated content this is the most effective to influence your customer you can do quizzes and surveys and finally you can you can shoot daily monthly or weekly series and upload it in the various social media accounts